If you don't believe in ghosts. If you don't mind, dummies. If you think nothing scares you. Then think again. Really hard. Because I did this, because of the interesting part, we're going to do a maybe twofer. We're going to do a double shot. And hello, Goosebumps fans. So we're going to do a whole thing of did they deserve it? Did they deserve it? Or it's like, I guess technically it's fine when it comes to one person, but let's still do it, though. First thing, let's do the main attraction, which is, of course, Brent Green. Did he deserve getting sent to the zoo? They actually deserve getting caught and sent to the zoo. I would say he didn't. Well, he did some messed up stuff. He did do some messed up stuff. But the thing is that he didn't do something really, really horrible. Unlike his episode counterpart, that is. So let's see what his charges are. He actually went into a house that he didn't supposed to. But hey, we don't know how long he's been there. He broke it. He actually entered Sammy's home without permission. He decided to eat Sammy's food. So he basically did some petty theft of food. And he tried to actually help Sammy with his math equations. That wasn't bad. He ate a slice of pizza, which is more petty theft. Not to mention, he ate bunches of food. So he basically raided the fridge and everything and ate more food without permission. Let's see. He refuses to show reveal himself to Roxanne, which is like, I don't know that one. It's like, is that really a crime? I don't know. And... He ate a sandwich. He, uh, he ate his lunch again. You know, he ate his freaking sandwich without permission again. And he tried to help out Sammy with his run. Yeah, with his track meet, which he didn't ask for it. And he ruined it. So he actually fudged that performance. That was messed up. And. He decided to go. No, he plays a trick. Now he plays a trick. He actually goes to Roxanne in the Edge House and took her backpack and did something. And then after that, he tried to kill her. Now, here's the big one where it's like, okay, that's really messed up. He technically tried to kill her with the pillow. It seemed to me that he was trying to suffocate her with the pillow. Which is kind of noble in a way. And we'll get to that. We'll get to her freaking damn charges too in a minute. But that was kind of messed up. <laughs> he could just beat her down with a pillow. It's like, why can't you just beat her down? And then he decides to play a joke on Sammy. And then he returns to Sammy's home again. He was not actually welcomed. He just went in there. And then he got sent to a zoo for it. It's like, well, he got sent to a zoo because he's an endangered species. So he does actually. So he basically is getting some good care. I don't think that really was actually anything. That's like what happened with Judge Steve. <laughs> yeah, Judge Harvey. Where it's like this guy actually spent money to get his camera. So he can continue on with his work. And he doesn't actually scold him for it. He's like you'll get training with my bro my freaking you get training with my son you actually might film one or two of my episodes it's like yeah it's like he gets propped up yeah but this isn't propped up this is like safety protocols it's like yeah the safety so it really was not like did he deserve this it's like well, he did try to kill her, but I'm pretty sure it's like if he did want to kill he would still continue to try to kill people so that one's most likely just by accident, I guess. It's like I'm pretty sure a 12 year old doesn't know that you can actually kill someone with a pillow. So I guess we could just say he might get a pass on that. But speaking on that, passing it to the next person is Roxy, Roxanne. Did she deserve it? Did she deserve almost getting killed? All right, let's see what we got here. Mm, for her, it's basically. Which we don't really know if he's a really a friend or not. 
we can even go with the episode version, but I'm like, yeah, let's just go with the book version. So this is an English class project that they want to do. And she's taking charge. And most likely Sammy didn't have anything to say on this. It's just her saying we're going to do this. Kind of bad. Kind of messed up. And they're going to a house which is breaking and entering. So we got breaking and entering. And then after that, your friend tries to tell you that there is someone invisible in his house. And I know that's kind of cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. But you could have kept it to yourself. Did she keep it to herself? No. She told the whole entire school, or at least their class. And a teacher. And they mocked him. That's that's kind of messed up. You're supposed to be his friend and you did that. And then we eventually they go back into the freaking house to try it again. Most likely he was reluctant to do it, but he did it anyways. It didn't seem to me that he actually wanted to do it, which, of course, an episode decided to say that he didn't want to do it at all. And now she actually is getting face to face with what she kind of wants which she got her freaking back thrown and she now is getting freaking almost killed by a pillow does she deserve to die for it no but is it good to strike fear in her so that she most likely won't do that crap again well the sad news is that he's not doing it for pure revenge or vengeance or you have disgraced his honor dear ma'am I challenge you to a duel. Psh, it wasn't even like that. Which I would prefer him actually taking the glove and just smacking her freaking face. <laughs> it's like, yeah, she kind of deserves that. Now that she deserves, but almost getting killed with a pillow? No, no, that's too far. And sadly, again, it's not going to strike fear in her to treat her friend with respect and get his opinion on things and maybe you both should actually come to a compromise of what you should do for the project no that's not going to happen the only thing that's going to be fearful is fearful of not going in that damn house ever again but sadly it gets overturned considering she was there which in the episode she wasn't there but she was there in the book when it's revealed that brent actually is a human invisible so that means that technically he didn't learn anything from it and she's going to make him go into the house again to look for a real ghost. So basically, in this whole entire thing, nothing is going to actually be resolved. The only other thing that's going to be resolved is maybe, just maybe, she might go from being like, oh, we're going to do a video on Ghost and Hedge House versus... One of the last humans in captivity. One of the last humans in the wild. And she just does that. Where it's like she's just going to film sending him to the zoo. And that's their project. Which is like oh okay. So then it does work. But we don't know for sure if that's what's going to happen. And again we're still at the end of where. Roxanne's not going to listen to you still. She's not going to take your considerations. She's going to do whatever the hell she wants. And she's going to still freaking make fun of you. Even though egg on her face when she goes to school and be like, so is it true that he actually had an invisible human around? And it's like, yeah. And then, yeah, she's just going to basically walk into school and now she's going to have egg on her face. And now she's going to basically say, you made us look like a freaking jerk when he was telling the truth. Way to go, Roxanne. We don't, what the fuck? It's like, that would be kind of fun where it's like, okay, now she deserves that. Because I'm pretty sure she's not going to downplay it. It's like, no, no, that didn't happen. No, no. And this is just basically just not trying to be noticed anymore. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Sammy will tell everyone's like, yeah, yeah, it was crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's like he most likely will be a talk of the town considering it's like they're sending a freaking human to a zoo. Yeah, he's going to be talk of the town of how they found him and stuff. It's like that's going to be a talk of the town. And it's like, there's no way you're going to hide from it. So that's going to be the good news and bad news. The bad news is that Roxanne is still going to be like the whole, whatever I choose, we're going to do. But on the other hand, she might be lowered in reputation from this. <laughs> yeah, she might actually be looking very pretty bad. And considering 
their whole entire did the whole entire school did it? I don't think so. It's like if the whole entire school did it, then they all look like crap and they all gonna feel messed up and they're gonna find someone to blame, which is Roxanne, because now they all look like jerks when he told Yeah. Now she's gonna he's gonna look like a jerk. She's gonna look like a jerk. Now, if it turns out that it was just that own classroom and people actually saw them do that, it would be like, wow. You guys are all fucking jerks. And now that whole entire class look like a bunch of jerks, even teacher included, which is like, dang. And you know who they're going to go after? They're all going to pick at freaking Roxanne, the one who actually got them to do that. So in the end, Roxanne is going to look pretty bad when they go to the school. Did she deserves that? Oh yeah, that's her consequences going back at her. Did she did deserve to get almost killed with a pillow and like she might actually use that as an excuse and freaking like I was fearful for my life though. He had a pillow to my face and almost killed me. It's like she could find her way out, sadly. She can find her way out. These days <laughs> it's like, yeah, if this freaking <laughs> book was wrote these days, that would be happening. Other than that, I'm pretty sure she would just be like completely and utterly destroyed now. Who knows? Will it make her change her ways to where she's going to listen to what Sammy has to say and his input? Slim to none. But anyways, I'm going to go. Have a scary day. Have a scary night.